Well, no need for really a talk on the starting grid here. Not really in the mood to talk a lot about this season so far. More in the talk for the next season coming up. We do have a great battle for this season, though, um, for the point lead. Um, Henry Kavanov on the outside is actually the points leader, and he's got the points lead by a good bit of margin over, I think it's the six car. Yes, Luke Martin, and then there's Henry, um, Charles Sanford, Jesse Turner, um, Richard Johnson, all of them guys. But like we said, for next season, we got lots of teams already signing up. We got 33 teams scheduled to try and attempt for the 2015 season, and we probably will have more. So if you guys want to join along for next season, sign up over there by commenting your name on the arcsawuniverse.freeforms.org site. But here we are, Nick Mace, Henry Kavanov, for round number eight on the schedule here at Cape America for five laps of racing. Here we are, we're getting ready to go green. Big time legend on the inside, rookie on the outside. Here we go, green flag is out at Cape America. Nick Mace is gone. He took off with that pack. And this might be the first time. Yes, it is, maybe. Did we really go by through there? I think we did. Yes, we did. That's the first time in Sony Cup Series history that the entire pack, nobody wrecked in the S's. Wow, that is pretty insane right there. Henry Kavanaugh, back to second right now. Nick Mace pulls away with the lead. Nick Mace was really good at Lime Rock. He ran down Stephen Paul III and Jordan Newman at, uh, at Lime Rock, but he just could not get by him, so he finished for third right there. But he starts on the pole for today, and he has just taken off with the lead and is leaving and is pretty much um, leaving off of where he was at Lime Rock. Here's one guy that didn't even start at Lime Rock, Charles Sanford. And that number 66 car, he lost the points lead because he didn't even have enough speed to qualify into the 36 car field. He, along with um, pretty much six other guys failed to qualify for that race. Um, but Charles Sanford and Jacob Hart, they're up high in the point standings along with Jordan Newman now after a good run there at Lime Rock. But Sanford is charging his way forward now. And Jordan Davis right there behind him there, um, he's one of the guys up there high in the point standings as well. He could be a factor to try and contend for his second title. Luke Martin has not really shown much strength as the last few races, really, as they come to complete lap number one. Luke Martin in that number six. Um, well, I mean, he's second in the point standings right now, Luke Martin is. Um, he's going to be owning Corweiser Racing once again. Remember Corweiser Racing back from season seven? The dominant team. Yes, that team is coming back for the 2015 season. It's going to be owned by Luke Martin himself, but we don't know if he's going to be driving for his own team or not. Um, Martin, we think he might be driving the six Budweiser um, Ford for next season, but we're not entirely too sure. But he's more focused on this season and that number six Valvoline Ford that's trying to come away as the champion for this season, but right now, a lot of his championship rivals are up front. Another guy back here, a lot of guys back here that's fighting for the title is back here as well. So, Jesse Turner down here near around in the 20s right now. Um, also, one of the guys sliding back in the field here, not going to get much points. Richard Johnson, we've got... He actually does not have a team or a ride scheduled for the 2015 season just yet. Um, the 20 car is still open for grabs for next season, but Richard Johnson does not have a team scheduled for next season. Neither does he have, he does not have a ride, nothing. So right now, if the season was to end after this race and we was going to end, go over to the 2015 season, 
Johnson would not have a team or a ride scheduled for the 2015 Daytona 500. So, that would be huge right there, but we're pretty sure that the two-time champion of Johnson will probably return. Mace is just really dominated. We're on lap 3 of 5. Mace, he is one of the big-time road course veterans. Um, he's always been a, had a class act for road course racing. But Henry Kavanaugh's trying to hang in with him, but this track is shown hard to pass on. I don't know if it's the car that we brought th um, for this season or if it's the tires. Um, but Nick Mace, he's really been real fast all weekend, but Henry Kavanaugh's trying to hang in with him. As you can see, it's really pretty much single file all the way through the field. Jordan Newman trying to pull out to pass Vince Allen here for the fourth position. But it's just really hard to pass here. Steven Pollard the third, Jordan Newman right behind Vince Allen here. Vince Allen, he has a future for Mace Enterprises in the in the 2015 season. Nick Mace picked him up for the number 25 car, I think it is. Ashley Mace will be coming back in the no no. Vince Allen is probably gonna be, is driving the 24, I think. Ashley Mace is driving the 25. Jordan Davis is going over to the 5 car for next season. So Vince Allen, he is driving the 25 for Mace Enterprises. So Vince Allen, for next season, he's got one of the biggest opportunities of his career with a huge team on his shoulders there to help him win races there. As we come to the two-lap mark, Jordan Newman, he's done really good for his rookie campaign this season. Henry Kavanaugh and Jordan Newman both, along with Mason Powers in the four car, they've done really well, but none of them have um, tried to sign up for the 2015 season just yet. Um, but Jordan Newman tried on that ter turn with Vince Allen, but couldn't get him. Charles Sanford, he's, he's trying to find a ride as well. Jacob Hart is going to be driving the 83 Fuel Brothers team for the GTA 5 and Gmod car. Um, so it's going to be good to see him moving over with his brother um, for that team as well. As we've got a battle for ninth here, Jordan Davis looking on the outside, trying to go around uh, Zayden Davidson here. Like we said, Davis has a future with Mace Enterprises. He's not going to be driving the 24 anymore, but he will be driving the 5 car for next season. So, um, actually I think so. I haven't checked the site in a little bit here, but Jordan Davis, he will be driving the 5, Vince Allen the 24, and Mace, Ashley Mace in the 25, and Nick Mace in the 48. I keep forgetting the rosters here, but Alan Cavanaro, don't know if he'll be returning or not, but Zayden Davidson is really sliding back here. Um, I don't know if he has a problem or not, but, but for Zayden Davidson, his own team, Davidson Motorsports, um, they have a three-car team scheduled to race for next season. Uh, they have Steven Jenkins on the roster as well to drive the 99 Pure Michigan Ford car for next season. So, <clears throat> good for them as well as Zayden will return into the same car, same everything. But we are coming around. It'll be the white flag here. This has basically been more of a talk session about the next season. I haven't really even talked about this season as much because, well, the guys that are really in the battle for this championship for this season is <clears throat> Henry Kavanaugh, um, Luke Martin, Charles Sanford, Richard Johnson, Jordan Davis, um, Jesse Turner, Richard Johnson. But Henry Kavanaugh is there. He's really reeled in the gap now. But I don't know if he'll be able to make a move on Nick Mace. Mace is just that strong. And Vince Allen and Jordan Davis, not Jordan Newman, just really lost all the time there. And Stephen Paul at the third, the Lime Rock winner is going to go on by. But up front, Nick Mace. And that Lowe's Chevy. <clears throat> He's not went to victory lane at all this season just yet. But Nick Mace got win number 20 in his career out there at um, Las Vegas. And has not went back to victory lane since. It was round number three then. Now we're on round number seven. 
24 races without a win. He's going to finally go back to victory lane here today if he, unless he messes up terribly here. we got a battle back here for fourth. Jordan Newman tried to get by um, Stephen Pollard the third here. Really slicing and dicing with Sanford in the mix as well. But rounding the last few turns here, the last little S here. Nick Mace has a huge gap over Henry Kavanaugh here. Henry Kavanaugh leads the rookie of the season points. He leads the main points as well. But I don't think he's going to end up getting the win here. Just like the rookies here, they are trying to get their first win of the season. But just like we said, <clears throat> it's hard to win a race in the Sony Cup Series in your rookie season. Nick Mays, a big veteran, a veteran who started all the way back his first race of season one of round three at Las Vegas. Nick Mace has started a long time in the series. He's got so many wins in the series. He's second all time on the win list. He's going to get win number 21 of his career here at Cape America. Win number 21 for Nick Mace. We're really going to have to check the tire. Um, for that the Sony Cup Series has been using for the road courses as of late because we've had somewhat of some good racing, but these drivers have not been able to make much passes here um, on these road courses as of late because Stephen Pollard III ran away with it at Lime Rock and so did Nick Mace here because no one was able to pass him or get a run on him. So um, that's something that SES officials will have to look into. But Nick Mace... His 21st career win. Wow. That's just great for him. So, <clears throat> let's get you our finishing results and standings after round number eight. 